watch you guys in my previous video we did a video on how to clone uh, your disk and also put that onto a new hard drive uh, using Macrium Reflect uh, free software so in this one what we're going to do is do an image of the drive now image and clone is basically the same thing in a sense that it backs up your drive but it does it in two different ways cloning will actually make a mirror image of your drive and put that onto another drive whereas imaging will create a file that you can actually uh, open up and also work from to put that back the way it was when you created that uh, image okay so let's have a look at uh, um, this free piece of software called Macrium Reflect and we're going to go through the motions here and make an image of our drive there's a couple of things I want to do first first off as you can see here it's always best to make an image to another drive or an external drive so if it's internal and you've got a second drive in there that's fine um, or you can do it as an external drive uh, on a USB or a toaster a caddy whatever it is you want to do to okay that's what you need to do in case this drive fails we will have an ex an external backup of that so we can always put that back on okay and point to that and I'll do that in another video and show you how to restore from an image okay so first thing I want to do here is right click and prepare this drive and go format from there we can put our volume label in so I'm going to call this image I'm going to do a quick format of that okay NTFS click start and OK it's going to do a quick format of that drive make sure you back up everything on that drive if you don't want to lose it because that will be now gone as you can see we've now got an empty drive so what I want to do is uh, fire up our Macrium Reflect software straight away it's going to ask you to make a rescue CD uh, or media i.e. CD or DVD or USB and that's advisable to do so I'm going to just show you the motions here you've got a Windows PE or Linux we'll just go through the PE part now it's already got mine created so it's going to skip that area once you've created it once it will just use that click continue and now it wants to um, basically burn to a DVD disk or USB flash drive if it was plugged in just follow those motions and uh, you will have a new disk I'm going to cancel this area now the reason why you need a rescue CD is if your Windows gets corrupted and you want to reinstall it from an image then you can boot to your rescue CD point to your external drive where your image is stored and then revert back and use that image to put it back okay and we'll cover that in another video okay so here we have our uh, backup tasks here in the top left uh, image all local drives on this computer and also we've got create an image of all the partitions required to back up and restore windows that seems like the logical one to go for and we've also got another tab here saying image this disk now I'm going to take the tick out here what we're going to do here is we're going to just copy the actual Windows directory okay because obviously the size of this uh, drive that I'm using here you want to try and use the same sort of drive really uh, it will compress it down you can use compression if you wish um, also verifying the um, the backup that you've created is also very important so many times I've seen people not verify and they find out it got corrupted in the creation of that image and now they can't revert back okay so let's uh, start off with just the um, system reserved and also the Windows directory I'm gonna click on this here now you can see it wants to go to a destination folder it's already got a, a location here we're going to ignore that and we are now going to go to this location which is our drive and in your case it will be um, whatever you've named it mine's called image which I just renamed it and I now want to create a folder inside here called backup and I want to put the date in there um, and the reason why is so I know when I created that image like so so now you can see we've got our H drive and there's a folder in there that's empty called backup on the 4th of the 4th 2013 we can now put our image into that location 
So what we're going to do here is copy these two partitions only. This is just storage data, so we don't need that. I just want the Windows part, say, and I've got all my programs installed there. So now I'm going to go next. Now you can create a DVD as well, and you can also create a backup uh, file. So we're going to go here. Now down here we can see options, advanced options. If I click on this, this is something I missed in the first uh, program uh, video that I've done because I didn't uh, see it there. But uh, compression, and someone picked me up on that as well. Now sometimes some people don't like to use compression, um, but you can do if you wish. It's recommending to use medium compression. Um, but if you don't want to use compression, you don't have to. If you've got bundles of space, then don't use it if you don't wish. If you want to use it, use the medium type. And you can see the intelligence sector copy. Uh, copies of uh, disks sector by sector, basically. Um, and you've also got to make an exact copy of the partitions here. File sizes is self-explanatory. We've left that on recommended and also comments you can add a comment in here to basically when you've created your backup full backup of my system and programs blah 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 and so on inside here so of later reference you'll know what to uh, what it was that you created and the reason why and you've got the shutdown um, section here which is enable power saving so I'm going to click cancel here and I'm going to go on to finish and this is going to go through the op uh, operations ones and two. Okay. Here we can see run this backup now and save this backup as an XML uh, backup uh, definition file. You can use this file to backup anytime and double click. Okay. So we're going to do that. Click OK here. And uh, what we're going to do is let this um, run through the motions. This will take a fair bit of time. Uh, so go make yourself a drink and uh, come back a little bit later on so we'll just let this run and uh, do its thing now, an important thing is not to use the computer while it's creating an image or cloning just let it do its thing and um, come back to it when it's finished okay so that's the actual backup process complete as you can see here it's completed successfully and it took 34 minutes which isn't too bad it's going to click OK there and close that so what we want to do here is close this off and there is our actual file our XML file that is created as well so I'm just going to quickly copy this and put this into my other folder my image folder and there we have our actual image file that we've just created in there as you can see it's uh let's have a look at the size of that 124 gigabytes in size so basically that's the file and in my next video what i'm going to do is show you how to restore this onto um, a blank machine or a machine that's in, uh, infected or something like that and we can revert back okay and that will be in the next video so I think that basically covers how to create an image of your drive and how to make a backup. And in the next video, we'll be recovering and restoring that image back to a system. Okay, so I hope this helps you out. I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoyed these videos, please remember guys, hit that subscribe button to show your support by rating and favoriting all my videos. And, uh, and I'll be making more videos again in the future. And if you've got any requests, then send me a message and I'll do my best to make those videos for you. So thanks again for watching, guys, and thanks for your support. See you in the next one. Bye for now.